Good morning. Welcome back. I'm your girl Faith. You are joining us here at Escape Forever Free. As a family, we are teaming together to restore physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness. This is our spiritual investment. Here we are teaming together to build a habit of spending one hour alone with God each and every day. You choose your best sacrificial time to commit this one hour to. We thank you for your joining us for the first time, for joining us, and we hope that you will stay and benefit from this support team. We are about to start our one hour with our Kickstart devotional guide, at the end of which you continue into one hour alone with God. It has been presented now this morning, but you choose your best sacrificial time and allow this video to give you the starting support that you need. Let us begin with prayer. Father, we thank you for another opportunity to come before you. We pray that you'll forgive us of all our iniquities and cleanse us of any sins and stains that are within us. We pray, Father, that as we come to worship you, your Holy Spirit will guide us into truth and light that we need for our salvation. May whatever we receive here today not be taken lightly, but may we, like obedient children um, to parents, may we likewise heed the word as our guide. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, our memory text this week has been coming to us from Hebrews 12 and verse 28, and we continue to practice it. Hebrews 12 and verse 28 says, Wherefore, we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved, let us, with, let us have grace whereby we may serve God acceptably with reverence and, fear, and godly fear. Hebrews 12 verse 28 Wherefore, we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved, let us have grace, whereby we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear. May God help us to commit this to memory and recall it in due season to glorify his name and to edify souls, even our very own. We go now to our Maranatha devotional guide, which is our kickstart reader. It is coming to us from Ellen G. White's um, Maranatha devotional entitled, His Reward is With Him. The key text for this morning's devotional reading comes to us from Revelation 22 and verse 12, and it reads, And behold, I come quickly. And my reward is with me to give every man according as his works shall be. So the devotional guide reads, Our work here is soon to close, and every man will receive his reward according to his own labor. I was shown the saints' reward the immortal inheritance and saw that those who had endured the most of the truths, the most for the truth's sake, will not think they have had a hard time, but instead will count heaven cheap enough. Every day bears its burden of record of unfulfilled duties, of neglect, of selfishness, of deception, of fraud, of overreach, of a fraud, of overreaching. What an amount of evil works is accumulating for final judgment. When Christ shall come, his reward is with him and his work before him to tender to every man according as his works have been what a revelation will then be made what confusion of face 
So some as the acts of their lives are revealed upon the pages of history. Every good and every wrong act and its influence upon others is traced out by the searcher of hearts to whom every secret is revealed and the reward will be according to the motives which prompted the actions the coming of christ is near and hasteth greatly the time in which to labor is short and men and women are perishing we need the converting power of God to make to take hold of us that we may understand the needs of the perishing world the burden of my message to you is get ready get ready to meet our God our Lord trim your lamps and let the light of truth shine forth into the byways and the hedges there is a world to be warned to be warned of the near approach of the end of all things let us seek a new conversion we need the presence of the holy spirit of god with us that our hearts may be softened and that we may not bring a harsh spirit into the work i pray i pray that the holy spirit may take full possession of our hearts let us act like children of god who are looking to him for counsel ready to work out his plans wherever presented god will be glorified by such a people and those who witness our zeal will say amen and amen what a reading this morning's devotional is encouraging us to be at work for God, knowing very well that the end draweth nigh, and that when that end comes, it is time for reward. Reward for evil and reward for good. God does not come without his reward, and no man will be denied the just work works that he invested in while he was travailing this earth whether it be a work to evil or a work to good it would have been his full work may it be that when this time comes we are not found wanting right now as we speak the investigative judgment is going on in the heavenly sanctuary whereby we do not know when you or when I will be called up for judgment when Christ our advocate will plead on our behalf and in between that communication with him and our heaven and God Almighty the Father there will be a final decision for each soul each of us being called up one at a time do you know if you are called today if you will be ready please let us make ourselves ready every moment. Let us put our house in order and work out our salvation with fear and trembling. Our hymn comes to us from 292, Jesus I Come, We Do Stanza 4. Out of the fear and dread of the tomb, Jesus I come, Jesus I come, into the joy and light of thy home, Jesus I come to thee. Out of the depths of ruin untold, into the peace of thy shattering fold, ever thy glorious face to behold, Jesus, I come to thee. Let us pray. Jesus, as we come to thee, please, I beg, 
Give us your Holy Spirit to possess every man in the hearing of this prayer who so desire to be possessed by the Holy Spirit, so that through the working of the Holy Spirit and the growth of the fruits of the Spirit within us, we can be work into that perfect man that will be ready to receive good rewards when you come. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. We thank you for joining us. Please continue for one hour with you and God alone. Let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be known and always acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Walk good. But above all, please walk with God.